What's going on guys? In today's video, we are going to show you one of the many ways that you can make $100 profit per day flipping shoes on Poshmark and Mercari. And keep in mind that's $100 after fees associated with the selling apps, shipping as well as taxes. Let's dive in. Welcome to our channel. My name is Ryan. And I'm Lindsay. We are a husband and wife team and we go by Rinzi. We are full time shoe resellers. We pay all of our bills and then some buying and selling shoes for profit on multiple marketplaces. We put out as much uh, free content as we possibly can. So if this is something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. We are gonna continue to put out videos like this sharing exactly how we do what we do and where we do it in hopes that you can leapfrog some of the mistakes that we have made and get closer to daily consistent wins. So today's video, the focus is sourcing at multiple different places in multiple different ways in order to make that $100 profit per day. We're going to be talking about thrifting. We're going to be talking about sourcing at retail locations. We're going to talk about consignment and we are going to talk about sourcing on Facebook Marketplace. We're gonna show you specifics, so let's head up to the sneaker loft and dive in. So keep in mind, right now we are averaging roughly $500 net profit per day. It's between $450 and $525 net profit per day. We wanna start with these videos showing how to make $100 in a bunch of different ways so you can build your shoe reselling business as big or as little as you want. The first pair we're gonna show you, we thrifted these keen targi waterproof hiking shoes now the buy cost was seven dollars and fifty cents we sold these on poshmark for 49 dollars after fees and after shipping we brought in 39 dollars and 20 cents which means our net profit on this pair of keen that we got at the thrift was 31 dollars and 70 cents Guys, keep in mind when you are sourcing at thrifts, there is going to be a lot of inventory that is not profitable. You're gonna say no a lot more times than you say yes. You always wanna keep in mind condition is crucial when you are looking through the thrifts. Make sure there's no rips or tears. Make sure they have the original insoles. Make sure there's no funky smell. Make sure they have good tread left. If you follow those guidelines and you stick to name brands and you're checking your comps, you're going to find profitable inventory in the thrifts. The next pair we wanna show you are these Kyrie 4 City of Guardians. And we sourced these on Facebook Marketplace. We bought them along with a couple other pairs from an individual locally. We averaged that into our buy cost for the week and these cost us $8.32. We sold them on Mercari for $62. We always offer free shipping. So after fees and shipping, we brought back in $44.83 for a net profit of $36.51. So when it comes to Facebook Marketplace, the one thing that you always, always want to keep in mind is safety. You always want to meet people in public places like uh, the grocery store, banks, uh, the police station, some police stations actually have designated parking spots for online sales. If the people that you're trying to buy shoes from won't meet you in these places, just move on to the next listing. You always want to make sure your safety comes first. You want to meet during the day and you always want to bring someone with you. Never travel alone. It also, everything else applies. The same stuff that goes in the thrift. You want to make sure you look over condition in person and you always want to make sure you're checking comps on the marketplaces that you plan to sell the shoes before you actually buy the shoes when you're sourcing on Facebook Marketplace. So the next pair that we want to show you, we sourced at Marshalls. We're constantly building sourcing routes where we can go into several Marshalls locations when they're hosting additional discounts. These Adidas Icon 4 trainers cost us $7.95. We'll talk about how we brought that buy cost down shortly. We sold them on Poshmark for $59. After all fees, we got back $47.20 for a net profit of $39.25. 
So it goes without saying that as resellers, we always want to lower our buy cost for our inventory. And when sourcing at Marshalls, there's lots of different ways that you can do this. We actually have another video, if you scroll down here on our YouTube channel, talking about all the different ways uh, that we lower our buy cost. But specific to Marshalls, we always go when they're hosting additional sales, when those red and yellow tags come out, we're clearly looking in the clearance section, but we're not skipping over shoes. We're looking at all of the inventory that they have available. We also have a Marshalls credit card, a TJX rewards card. Based on our purchases, we earn rewards points and those points give us gift cards, which then lower the buy cost of inventory even more. Keep those things in mind when you're sourcing at Marshalls. So the fourth and final pair that we want to show you that puts us over the $100 mark in profit for today are these Gore-Tex Oslo Drifters. Now Gore-Tex is gold when it comes to footwear and Oslo is a phenomenal brand to look out for. So when you are consigning pairs, it's the buy cost is zero for you. So these didn't cost us anything. We just had to put the sweat equity in to flip them. They sold on Poshmark for $135. After fees, we got back $108. And based on our agreement with the consigner, we made $41.50 on this pair. So if done right, consignment can drastically improve your business. I mean, imagine you're essentially getting inventory for free. Now you do have to put in the sweat equity to actually complete the sale, whether it's cleaning, uh, listing, photographing, shipping, all the things of that nature. But the inventory essentially comes in for free. They have purchased it. You were putting the sweat equity in. You guys split the profits. We have a whole video showing exactly how we've built up the consignment part of our business over the last couple of years. If you scroll down here on our YouTube channel, but keep in mind, you can start Start small and the one point that that has helped us tremendously is just as strict as we are when we're sourcing in the thrifts and we're sourcing in places like Marshall's be strict with who you consign with and always 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 check the comps of the stuff that you're potentially bringing in on consignment before you actually agree to bring it in you want to make sure that it's going to be profitable for you and profitable for the person that you're building the relationship with so to wrap this video up in a nice little bow on these four pairs sourcing from different locations, we're showing how to make over $100 profit. On the four pairs, we made a total of $148.96 in profit. We always take out 25% for taxes, which leaves us with $111.70. Two cents. Again, there's so many ways to winning when flipping shoes. This is just one of them. All right, that's what we got for you guys today. Just keep in mind, it's super, super important to always check the comps or the completed sales on the marketplaces that you plan to sell the shoes before you spend your hard-earned money on that inventory. And if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, until our next video, enjoy each and every single step.